E equals mc squared. You've seen this equation, most famous equation in physics, Einstein's big one. But most people have no idea what it actually means or why it might be the best framework for understanding why your desktop setup actually matters. Now, here's a short version. Energy, okay, this energy right here, uh, let's write E and mass right over here, M, are one and the same thing. Energy can become matter and matter can become energy. And the C squared, this thing right over here, this is the speed of light squared. This thing is the conversion factor, the multiplier that determines how much of one becomes the other. Now, here's a part that nobody talks about. This equation actually explains why some people are productive and others aren't, why some setups help you work and others drain you before you even start. Let me show you what I mean. So let's break this down simply, okay? You know what? I'll just have to turn off dark read it over here so you can see what I'm writing. Now, E is energy, as I've already mentioned. That's going to be energy. Uh, in physics, that's the capacity to do work. In your life, it's the same thing. Your focus, your effort, and your time. The fuel that you bring to your computer every day. M is mass. This is the output. The output that you produce based on whatever energy that you give in, right? It's the code that you ship, it's the projects you finish, and it's the work that actually gets done. In physics, this is matter. C squared is the speed of light squared. It's a constant. This thing right here, speed of light. Let's put that speed, light, because it takes too long to write it. There you go. This thing is the speed of light. In physics, it's what determines how much energy you get from a given amount of mass or vice versa. Here's the insight. In the original equation, c squared is fixed because, of course, the speed of light is fixed and it's not going to change. It's a law of the universe. You can't change it. But in your life, in your setup, you can. Your setup is your c squared. It's the multiplier that determines how much of your energy actually converts into output. A high c squared means that your energy, so if this were increased, this means that your energy is actually going to be used more efficiently. And a low c squared means that your energy gets eaten by friction and you're left with almost nothing to show for it. The same person, same hours, wildly different output. The difference is in the multiplier. Now, let me show you what a low C squared looks like. You sit down at your computer and the setup is completely cluttered. There's way bar modules everywhere showing information that you never look at, the colors are boring and inconsistent, the fonts look cheap and fragile, and literally nothing feels intentional. You haven't even started working, but something already feels off. There's a subtle resistance. You don't want to be here. So you procrastinate, you open a browser tab, you check something, you tell yourself you'll start in five minutes, and that's energy leaking. Not into work, but into friction. Into the low-level discomfort of an environment that doesn't feel good to be in. And it gets worse. You finally start working, but every interaction has friction. You reach for the mouse because you don't have keybinds set up. Windows spawn in random places because you haven't configured window rules. You're constantly rearranging, resizing, and adjusting. And that's more energy leaking. More of your limited daily fuel just burning away before it ever even becomes output. By the end of the day, you're exhausted. And, but when you look at what you actually produced, that's literally almost nothing. The mass doesn't match the energy that you put in. That's a low C squared. Your setup is actively working against you. It's a conversion factor that destroys more than it creates. Now, let me show you what a high C squared looks like. The setup is clean, minimal. Something like the one that I have over here, or hell, even e-ink, if I just pick that here. This, the main difference between noir, which is this theme right here, and e-ink, is that Noir is a dark theme and E-Ink is a light theme. If I were to show you the apps, right now it's actually in dark mode, but if I change this to default, hit apply, as you can see here, this is what E-Ink looks like. It's an absolutely fantastic theme, as you can tell, by the look of these windows. And not just that, if I wanted to show you something like Noir as well, that's the theme that I originally selected, and that's the one that you first saw, that's what this looks like. As you can see, this looks pretty sweet as well. If you want to learn how to make a custom theme switcher like this one right over here, as well as a wallpaper switcher like this one, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. It's a program where I teach you exactly how you can configure Hyperland to do all this sort of stuff without copying a single line from anybody else's dot files. So if you want to learn how to make something like this, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. Now, let's get back. Back to everything having a purpose. The colors here are cohesive, and it's a palette that actually feels intentional with these pastel colors, as you can see right over here. The fonts are sharp and professional, and the gaps are just right. There's no clutter, no noise, and nothing pulling your attention away. And something happens that you don't consciously notice. You want to be here. There's no resistance, there's no procrastination, you just sit down and you start. Because the environment itself is pulling you in rather than pushing you away. And then you start working and everything flows. You hit a keybind on, and your terminal appears exactly where you expect it. You open an app and it opens on the right workspace. 
sized correctly because your window rules handle it. You switch contacts with a keystroke and you never reach for the mouse. No friction, no leaking, every ounce of energy goes straight into output. By the end of the day, you've, pro you've produced twice as much as before, maybe even more, and you're less tired because you weren't fighting your environment the entire time. Same person, same hours, same energy, but a completely different multiplier. That's a high C squared. Your setup is working for you. It's converting your energy into mass with almost no loss. So what specifically makes a high C squared setup in that case? The first thing is an environment you want to be in. So let's just write that here. Fun environment. Fun environment. This is the biggest one, and it's the one that most people just dismiss as just aesthetics. It's not just aesthetics because it's the foundation. If your setup is ugly, cluttered, or inconsistent, you will subconsciously avoid it. You'll procrastinate more. You'll find excuses to do other things. The energy leak happens before you even start. A setup that you actually want to look at, with clean colors, good fonts, intentional spacing, minimal distractions, removes that resistance entirely. You just sit down and you start. That's worth more than any productivity hack. The second is keybinds that eliminate friction. See, every time you reach for the mouse, you're leaking energy. Every time you manually resize a window, you're leaking energy there as well. Every time you hunt for an app, leaking. Keybinds make actions instant. Launch terminal, one keystroke. Switch workspace, one keystroke. Move window, that you can do that with one keystroke as well. Just setting the window to floating and using your mouse. That's it. You don't have to do any sort of other voodoo magic in order to just get your windows to behave properly. Friction approaches zero. And if you want a complete keybind system that covers everything from launching, navigation, window management, and all of that stuff, that's one of the things that I walk through in Hyper Accelerator. So if you want, if you want to learn that along with making a custom theme switcher like this one, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. It's over 10 hours of content and in modules like theme switchers, which are almost two hours long, as you can see here, I teach exactly how you can make something like this for yourself. So if you want that, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. The third thing is window rules that automate placement. Your browser should always open on workspace one, let's say, okay, right here in workspace one, or your terminal should always open on workspace two, probably even like your code editor opening on workspace three. That's something that you can actually set up. So when you configure window rules, you stop managing windows and you start actually just using them. The setup handles the logistics and your energy goes into the work. The fourth thing is visual consistency. See, if you notice, I'm using one font, one sans set of font for the UI, as you can see right over here. Okay, no matter what context it's in, whether it be the lock screen, actually, yeah, this is the lock screen, or whether it be the logout menu or the application launcher, whichever application launcher that I use, okay, whatever font that I'm using when it comes to the UI, that's a single font, and that is SF Pro Text. When it comes to the terminal, I'm using only one font, and that is going to be Geist Mono Nerd font, because JetBrains Mono, honestly, does not have any personality anymore, and it's way too overused. There's also one color palette everywhere per theme that I choose. There's also consistent gaps, consistent borders, and consistent radius. So when everything matches, your brain stops noticing the setup. It becomes invisible, and invisible is the goal. You want to forget you're using the computer and just be in the work. Inconsistency creates micro distractions, and every mismatch is going to be pulling a tiny little bit of attention, and those add up. Now, as for me personally, I used to have a low C squared setup. My waybar was packed with modules. CPU, RAM, disk, network, weather, Spotify, everything I could think of. The colors were boring and didn't go together, the fonts were whatever came as default, and I noticed something. I didn't want to use my computer. I'd sit down and immediately feel tired, I'd procrastinate, I'd give reasons, I'd find excuses, and whenever I did work, it felt like pushing through mud. At the end of the day, I had nothing to show for my effort. So I just stripped it back. I removed two thirds of the Wayboard modules, built a cohesive color palette like the one you see here, installed proper fonts like SF Pro Text and Geist Mono Nerd Font and made everything consistent. The change was literally immediate. I actually wanted to sit down and work for the first time. The resistance was gone, the friction was gone, and my energy finally had somewhere to go. Same person, same computer, same hours in the day, but a completely different multiplier. And if you want to build a setup like this one right here, one that actually increases your C squared, Hyper Accelerator walks you through the entire process with window rules, design principles, and all of it. It's a system that I wish that I had when I first started. And if you want, you can click the first link in the description and check it out right now. So in closing, E equals MC squared. Your energy is limited and your hours are limited as well. But your multiplier, that's something that you can change. A setup that drains you before you start, that creates friction at every step that you don't even want to look at, that's a low C squared. It's wasting your, your energy. A setup that pulls you in, that eliminates friction, that feels invisible because everything just works, that's a high C squared because it's turning your energy into output with almost no loss. See, racing isn't just about making things look cool, it's about building a multiplier that compounds every single day. So 
build your own z-squared. The equation will take care of the rest. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay racing. Mwah.